Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about some of the news and nuggets that are coming out of the OTAs here. This is serious. We're in cap mode central, all right? Uh, we have some good news here. Well, let's start with some of the players that are making a name for themselves here. Right off the bat, one of the guys that I've been rooting for here that I like from the draft, Ryan Switzer. Okay, this guy here, rookie minicamp, did some things, looked good. Coming in here with the rookies and vets now, making a name for himself, okay? This guy is gonna be a weapon for us, no doubt about it. Scott Linehan had some comments here about him, talking about, you know, depending on who they're playing, they very well could see Beasley and Switzer on the field at the same time. NFC East! We're coming for you guys, all right? We're gonna take these guys out methodically with our personnel packages. Time to decimate these guys, all right? So he may, uh, he got some opportunities here with Beasley being out with the hamstring issue. And also, Lucky Whitehead, this guy didn't even practice, all right? So this guy you know, had to leave here with, with some sort of undisclosed injury himself. This guy cannot afford to do uh, miss practice, but whatever. Uh, I think we know that Whitehead is, is on the out. Switzer, he wants this. He's taking advantage of the of the opportunity, killing it. All right, making plays, acrobatic catches, one hand catches. I like this pick. Okay, he's a, a good weapon here for us, and we'll see what he does here in training camp. The other things that we talked about here for the OTAs, where they're going to line people up at, and who's going to start here and there. And now we have some news here. Jonathan Cooper um, getting reps at the center with the second team and Cleary getting the majority of the snaps there at left guard. Uh, that's from uh, DallasCowboys.com. Uh, go check that article out there. Brian Broaddus has a really good scouts notebook article there. Um, but it's interesting. Okay, so Cooper there at center. Cleary at left guard. Malik Collins mauling the hell out of this guy. We have to wonder what we're going to do here at left guard, okay? It's because um, the other news coming out of OTAs, Lyle Collins getting full reps here at right tackle. The job is his, all right? I mean, Chaz Green is in the mix here, but they're limiting him as well. Um, you know, Jalen Smith as well. Those two guys are on alternating uh, practicing days, that sort of thing. Um, the other thing here, Cheeto. Where are they going to put him? Versatility. They love this thing about him. They had him in the slot here. Covering out of the slot. Okay, so this guy gives them the versatility that they're looking for. Okay, so could he be at safety? Could be. Could play on the outside. And this guy's going to do something here. All right. There was a report here coming out of the OTAs as well that with Switzer, he did a good job covering him in the slot, stayed with him right there in his right pocket, okay? Right there next to him, hip to hip, coverage, spot on, okay? So this is good news, all right? I'm liking what I'm hearing from the rookies especially. Cooper Rush, looks like he's out playing Appleby. Um, Saying here that Appleby had some uh, fumbling issues here with the, with the snaps and that kind of thing. Frustrated with him. Pulled him out. Put Cooper Rush in there. Was able to move the team. All right. So we'll see what they do there as far as a developmental quarterback. Could be his job to lose, right? Appleby, I wasn't really impressed with him coming out of Florida. Florida QBs, uh, I don't know. Not, not, not that good to me. But Cooper Rush making an opportunity. Making a name for himself. Moving the team. Moving the ball. All right. The other thing here that we're talking about, um, Charles Tapper, 100%. He's on the field here, giving it a his all. He's recovering from his vertebrae issue that he had last season, a stress fracture. All right. So they interviewed him. He's saying that uh, he's looking forward to this year, has lofty goals, wants to break Michael Strahan's sack record. Probably won't happen, but. I mean, you want to hear these kind of things from your players, set high goals, and see what they can do. Also, the other thing here, Topper lined up next to uh, Taco Charlton. They moved him inside, and Tapper was there on the right end. Okay, so 
there's gonna be some rush packages here they like taco here with the versatility obviously on the outside right end left end inside he gives you that wingspan i hope come they like him like they like david irving i think okay but um i think taco a little bit more polished coming out of college obviously high upside as well this is exciting you know I, i'm just thinking about the possible packages that we can see out of this team coming up this year the defense is going to be better everybody okay i mean uh obviously jalen smith we talked about him before at, at notre dame he he um he did some pass rushing, hand in the ground, that kind of thing, coming off the edge, screaming off the edge with the speed, harassing, sacking people. I could see them put using him in nickel situations as a pass rusher as well, okay? I mean, they're going to have some options here. Missing David Irving for four games, I don't think the hit is going to be as, as bad as, you know, we first thought. Barring... That's the key word, barring any other injuries or suspensions, okay? Right now, we're, we're okay. But you know how these things, they can turn really quick, all right? But where we're at right now, I like where we are defensively. Demontre Moore, good reports coming out of him, making plays against Tyron Smith. That's big, okay? Not a lot of people can get around him, um, around that man of mans, okay? That guy there, all pro. The more getting it done so far, okay? So that's exciting for us. The more weapons, the more pass rush weapons, the better, all right? So that's those are the main topics here from the OTAs. Upcoming OTAs, the 30th and the 31st. So we'll have more, more action from that. But that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Who are you excited about from these OTAs? Who's turning heads for you? Who, who are you excited about? Me? Ryan Switzer, man. This guy, I like what I'm hearing. I like what, I, what I'm reading and hearing interviews. This guy could do something for us, all right? The offense is going to be humming, all right? Well, that's it, guys. I really appreciate all you guys. Comments, visiting the channel, sharing, liking the videos. Can't be here without you guys, all right? So I appreciate every one of you. Shout out to all you guys. Keep them coming. And we'll see you here for the next video. Thanks, guys.